The New Jersey state capital of Trenton, New Jersey, the Board of Education has made a controversial decision to axe the words male and female in public schools. How about that? The board narrowly approving its equity policy, dropping all gender specific phrases in favor of the term all students. So here to talk about it is, is New Jersey Assemblyman Jerry Scharfenberger. Andrew J. Mulvihill is joining us, the New Jersey State School Board Vice President. Thank you to you both for coming on. We do appreciate that. I wanted to talk to Assemblyman, if I could start with you here. So sure. here, there's the topic. Parents' right advocates are protesting now the move, as you can imagine, packing the meetings and, again, threatening lawsuits. One parent actually raising fears that getting rid of all these gendered terms could have a negative impact on children in the Garden State. Uh, Assemblyman, should parents have that right to be concerned and why? Well, they absolutely can. And if my constituents are any judge, I've heard from multiple people about this very upset. And frank, quite frankly, it's fixing what isn't broken. What possible reason could you have to take out the words male and female, boy and girl, whatever the designation is, from the academic canon here? Uh, th this is ridiculous, and it's going to erode our education system further and further when you start taking out biological fact and societal fact. And it's going to confuse children. Children should not be subjected to this sort of confusing chaos uh, by removing this and making everything one size fits all. And there are some follow-up questions here, and that's why we've got the school board VP with us, Andrew Mobilehill. Wanted to ask you what this means in practice. Uh, if you're eliminating these sort of gender terms, does that mean uh, that your school sex ed classes would be impacted? How does this also play a role in sports for after-school activities? Well, well, unfortunately, right within these regulations that I voted against, um, they now say that if you're going to teach sex ed classes and it's up to the schools and whether they want to teach it to the girls and boys together or to split them up, if you decide that you want to split them up, from now on, you need to do it by gender identity, not by biological sex. So that means a, a little boy who's expressing as a girl wants to go and take the class with the girls. And uh, the reason that that's being uh, advocated and pushed by um, the Murphy administration is they think that that is only fair. It's, it's a protection uh, of the rights of that child. What, what I miss is what about the girls? The, the girls are protected as well. They're a class that should be protected in New Jersey. And so when a little girl was talking about these very sensitive matters and there's now a boy in the class with her, that's not fair to her. Where are her protections? I voted against this. This is a bunch of nonsense. And uh, unfortunately, it's just it seems to be the uh, the Murphy administration pushing this along. All right, you're going to leave it right there. We appreciate that. Again, Andrew Mulvihill uh, from the New Jersey State School Board of VP. We appreciate that. New Jersey Assemblyman Jerry Scharfenberger. Thank you so much. Thank you.